benefits agreement for the Barclays Arena. So I've read through that community benefits agreement many times. And unfortunately, from looking at it, and I know no one really wants to hear the bad news, but so much of what was put in that agreement is not going to be legally binding. That's so right. if you That's really right. read through that Community Benefits Agreement Act, a lot of the things that were put in there were wish list things, things that people would like to see happen, schools that people would like to see built and developed, community centers that they would like. But there was no specifics in terms of where were they going to be? Who was going to fund them? How were they going to be maintained? So a lot in the Community Benefits Agreement Act, a lot of it really was a wish list. It wasn't necessarily projects and programs that were already in existence that could be developed um, during that particular project. So I would say moving forward, the direction that we need to go into is to make sure that all of these community benefits agreements at are legally binding. We also have to have votes that are put in at our community boards, those also have to be legally binding and they can no longer just be recommendations because the community boards meet every month, they vote and take measures on different things and those things are superseded. There's a lot of bait and switching that's going on. People vote for one thing and then something else happens. So it's very important that we make these contracts legally binding and in addition to that, I would say particularly for resources and programs and projects that are gonna be built in the community, those projects should happen up front before the development even happens. We shouldn't have to wait on the back end and then they say all of the money was spent that we were going to do on that, on legal arbitration and all of these different things because there was such a fight. Since we had to spend all this money legally, we no longer have money for the programs that were promised in the Community Benefits Agreement Act. So that's really another example of bait and switch. So I would work to make sure that our Community Benefits Agreement Acts are actually legally binding and to give community boards the power that they need in order to make sure that the things that the community wants to see are taken into account in future and further development um, with many of the projects moving forward.